Hello and welcome to Coding Demos. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to add Spinner inside our app. Uh, so what is Spinner? Uh, this is how Spinner looks like. It's basically a drop-down list item that hold values. And then whenever the user select any of these values, it will be shown on top here. Okay, now let's head back to Android Studio and then we create a new project. We give it a name, uh, let's say Spinner example, and then we click next. Uh, API 16, yes, we click next. Empty activity, yes, click next. And then we click finish. We give it some time to load. Okay, it's almost complete. All right, greater build finish, that's good. Uh, first things first, we need to add the spinner. We'll head to the activity underscore main and then we remove the default hello world text view and then we go to the design section and we'll look for the spinner. Uh, the spinner is located under the widget tab. Uh, we scroll down a bit and there is the spinner. We we'll click on that and then we drag it into our screen. Now, f there are some rendering issues with API 24 uh, and that causing the spinner not to sh be shown. Now, to get this fixed, well, all you have to do is you go to the API 24, which is shown here, and then you click on the drop down and then you choose API 23. All right, now the warning is gone and we can see our spinner. Now, we need to give the spinner an ID. We go to the text section and then we look for the spinner, this is our spinner, and then we give it a spin off ID of 1, just for simplicity. Now we have our spinner. We'll head back to the main activity and then we need to declare the spinner. So we would say spinner, and then we choose the first option, Android widget, and then we give it a name, my spinner equals to spinner, oops. Spinner find view by ID. We need to look for the ID of the spinner. So we'll start with R for resource and then ID, then spinner one. All right, now we have created a spinner. The next thing is we need to create the data that will show up inside the spinner. Uh, how do we create the data? Well, You'll go to the resource folder and then choose in choose values folder and then you click on the strings.xml. Okay, under the app name we'll give it some space and then here we will create the string array. Oops, string array. And then we give it a name, say names for example, close that. And then inside the array we'll have items. So let's say item, and then we give it a name based on the example that I've shown you, which is home, work, other, custom. Let's add that. Home, let me duplicate a few times. Home, work, and then we have other, and then we have custom. That's good. Now we have created the values that we will show inside the spinner. Now we need to code that inside the Java file. We'll go to the main activity and then double enter and then we create an adapter, array adapter. So what is adapter? Basically it's, uh, you can say it's the uh, container that will hold the values and then integrate them with the spinner. Uh, let me show you right now okay so we have this uh, my adapter now for the array adapter we'll do new array adapter you can see there are so many options that we can choose from uh, well what we need to do right now is we need to give it a context which is our main activity dot this and then comma and put in a new line so that it will be easy for you guys to look at it so first is the context. The second thing is the resource file. Now, the, this resource file is built in into Android. So how do we access that? It's really simple. We say android.r.layout 
dot simple list item one that's the one that we need now we have the resource file and then the second thing is sorry the third thing is the data that we need to populate inside the spinner so the data is the one that we just created inside the strings.xml how do we access that we'll do it like this get resources dot get string array and then we give it the array id so r dot array dot names and then we'll end it with semicolon now we've just created the adapter there are a few things that we need to add into it we need to tell and we need to uh, specify that this adapter will have a drop down list it's not just a normal simple list we will have to make it as a drop down list so we'll do it like this my adapter dot set drop down view resource click on that and then we give it a built-in android layout we can access that as we've mentioned before android sorry android dot r dot layout dot simple and then we have spinner drop down item there you go now the final thing is we need we need to say spinner we need to set what we need to set our spinner to this to this adapter my adapter now if for example we forget to add this line then when we run the app it won't crash but the data that we've just provided inside this adapter will not be shown inside the spinner here because why because we forget to add this line now this line will allow the adapter to show the data inside the spinner now let's run the app uh, we'll choose our emulator uh, we'll go with the nexus 5 and then we run the emulator all right so the emulator is fully loaded uh, now let's run our app uh, we'll choose the emulator nexus 5 click ok and open up the emulator okay build complete all right our app is deployed inside our emulator there you go this is the spinner now you click on the drop down item sorry you click drop down arrow and then we have the items that we've just mentioned here home home work other and custom now it feels like the uh, the width of the spinner is small so we need to make it bigger to fit the layout of the screen so how do we do that well we just go to the activity underscore main we'll look for our spinner and then we'll just change the width instead of wrap content we'll make it match parent all right now let's run it again all right now the width is full good shows others all right okay we finally made it now you have a fully working a spinner with items inside it that's good guys well done now if you have any questions or feedback please leave them in the comment section below uh, thank you again for watching and happy coding